tonight. 45 years. That is how long it took to identify the remains of a missing Cleveland man. County leaders say finally advancements in DNA technology made this happen. Bryant McRae joins us now in the studio to show us Bryant. Well, yeah, good evening, Lena. 20 year old Danny Lee Mitchell went missing in April of 1980. He was last seen heading to a bar in the 6300 block of Euclid Avenue. A month later, his remains were found nearby. With no DNA testing back then, the case went cold. That was until another cold case and technology sparked new hope for the Mitchell family. Frank Little's case brought in Danny's case and I opened a new missing person case for Danny Mitchell and continued to work the missing person case for Danny Mitchell. Jennifer Lester, an analyst with the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation, speaking to the family of Danny Lee Mitchell after solving a decades old search for their loved one. He was a great person. He loved church. He loved singing. He loved dancing um, and he loved his family. Mitchell would unknowingly be connected to Frankie Little former guitarist for the LJ. Little went missing in 1982, with his remains being found in Twinsburg. In 2017, facial recognition software bringing Little's image to light. Danny's sister saw it on the news, and she thought that reconstruction resembled Danny, which is what made her call our toll-free line and give his information to me. In 2024, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children securing dollars to help solve cold cases, leading to additional testing of hair samples from Mitchell, creating a detailed DNA profile. That profile was sent off to various forensic and law enforcement teams until a match came back. We were able to start to use technology that Back in the 1980s, when people did DNA, they couldn't do anything with hair that didn't have roots to it. But the technology keeps getting better over time. Science is going to change. It will develop. We'll have new investigative techniques. One thing I will I promise you that will not change, and that is the dedication and determination of the law enforcement community to, to make sure that everybody counts. Of course, that speaking was Ohio Attorney General David Yost. Investigators are still unsure how Danny died. They say at this time they do not suspect foul play. Lena. All right. Brian McCray in the studio for us tonight. Thank you.